Now we are going to solve our first illustration on comparative statements. Okay, so what is the question? Convert the following income statement into a comparative income statement of BCR Company Limited and interpret the changes in 2005 in the light of the conditions in 2004. Right? So there were two years given and we have to compare between the items given in 2004 and items given in 2005. It means that we have to make a comparative statement for the year ended 2004 and 2005. Okay? Now, how these items are given, that is very important. Uh, right? Now, it is said that we have to make an income statement, comparative income statement. Income statement is nothing but the PL account. Now, in PL account, we get the horizontal view. That means there are expenses in the left-hand side and income in the right hand side but here we are getting an horizontal a horizontal view right in horizontal view what is happening we are starting with the cells and we are going on decreasing the cells by different types of expenses and we are adding non-operating income with that and after that at last we are getting net profit after tax right so starting from the first First gross sales is there, less net uh, sales returns. Next, we are getting net sales. From there, we are deducting cost of goods sold to get gross profit. Now, here from another difference comes that is in PL account, we deduct all kinds of expenses together to get the net profit after tax. But here what is happening? At first, we are deducting the operating expenses like administrative expense, selling expense, and there can be other. And we are getting total operating expense. From gross profit, we are deducting total operating expense to get profit from operation. And after that, we are adding non-profiting, non-operating income and uh, deducting non-operating expenses to get net profit after tax, right? And after that, as this is the rule that in corporate uh, accounting, we have to take an amount of 50% from net profit to pay to the government as tax. So here, tax at the rate of 50% is deducted from net profit before tax to get net profit after tax. Okay. So now from this, what we are getting, we are getting an income statement in a format in which we have to make the comparative income statement. Now, if the question does not give in does not give the items in this format it can give the items in listed format or just uh, haphazardly we have to arrange everything in this manner at first okay and then go for the solution now let's solve this problem at first we are going to write the heading as comparative income statement for the year ended 31st march 2004 and 5 right as it is given in the slide for the format and also we know that after particulars we are going to draw four columns first column will be 2004 amount second will be 2005 amount both will be denoted by rupee sign and next for the answer up to here everything was given in the question right for the answer part we need to draw more two more columns one will be absolute increase or decrease which will also be denoted as rupee and another will be percentage increase or decrease which should be denoted as percentage right now in absolute increase or decrease the formula will be year 2 minus year 1 right this will be denoted by year 2 and this will be denoted by year 1 why is it so because 2004 is the base year and on this we have to take out the changes in 2005 based on 2004 right so anything which is denoted as base will be year 1 and which is we, uh, for which we are going to calculate the changes will be year 2. So 2005 is year 2 and 2004 is year 1. In absolute increase or decrease, what we are going to do is we are going to deduct year 1 from year 2. Right? For this one. Absolute increase or decrease. Okay? Now everywhere, whenever we will write increase or decrease, we will denote it by plus or minus sign okay now let's see here everything was increasing right so here for this sum there is no minus figure but it can be possible that there can be 
any decrease for that decrease we have to denote it by minus now how can we understand whether it is increasing or decreasing we have to understand from the absolute values given in the question say for example this one this value is more than this value so we can easily understand that in 2005 the amount is increasing right if the amount is increasing that means there is absolute increase got it now we will denote we will calculate all these things one by one for all the items given here okay up to net profit after tax after that we will go to the last column which is denoted as percentage increase or decrease and which is also denoted by percentage sign now here also we have to write either plus or minus sign according to increase or decrease whatever will be increased in absolute increase or decrease will be obviously increased in percentage increase or decrease also so here as you can see there is no minus sign given in this column also since in absolute terms it is increasing that means in percentage also it will increase okay now how to calculate this one this formula is also given in the slide but i'm explaining once again okay i'm explaining it here say for example we are doing it for this gross sales okay so how can you do that year one value year two value divided by year one value multiplied by 100 minus 100 this was the formula right for gross sales what will be this 36720 this is your year two value divided by 30600 year 1 value multiplied by 100 minus 100 if you calculate this one this amount will come 20 percent okay no need to uh, put percentage sign over here because you have done uh, you have written percentage in the heading right so no need to go on writing percentage for each and every units uh, sorry every items now let's come to the interpretation part okay now in income statement as it is an income statement there are three things which are important number one is income number two is profit and number three is expenses right there are three things which are important in any of the income statement. So let's see now what is happening to all of these items. First we are going to see the income part. Gross sales, then non-operating income. Okay. For gross sales what is happening? It is increasing. That means it is a good sign. If the sales or any other income is increasing that means profit has a chance to increase also given the expenses are same right now let's see income is increasing for sales and as well as for non-operating income see this is also a plus sign that means here also income is increasing right now what is happening to profit gross profit is increasing right next Operating profit is also increasing and net profit is also increasing. That means profit is also increasing. Now what about the expenses? Expenses are this one, cost of goods sold. This is also increasing. Total operating expense is also increasing. Non-operating expenses also increasing. That means everything is increasing. Now, if expense is increasing and also income is increasing, that, then how can profit increase? We have to understand this one. As expense is increasing less than the increase in income in profit, that is why profit is increasing. That means expense is increasing at a lower rate okay income is increasing at a 
higher rate. That is why profit is increasing. Okay, how can you understand the rate? Higher rate, lower rate, this one. We can understand it from this column. Percentage increase or decrease. Okay, if you can see this, that in case of sales, say for example, net sale is increasing by this much, right? Cost of goods sold is increasing by this much. So 20.07 is more than 11.26. That is why there is increase in profit, gross profit. Got it now? As net sales, that means your income is increasing at a higher rate. Higher rate means 20.07, which is higher than the cost of goods sold. The rate of increase in cost of goods sold is 11.26. That is why the profit is able to increase, gross profit. Similar is the case of other profit also. Okay. In case of uh, this one, operating expenses, operating expenses are increasing by 11.11. .11. But operating profit is in increasing just because that this value is more than the increase in the expense part.